Hello, I'm Pastor Mark Just of Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We're located at 2528 King Edward Street, and you can call us at 204-632-6911. We are on the internet. Our webpage is emmanuelwinnipeg.ca, and you can reach us via email at emmanueloffice at mts.net. Emmanuel Lutheran Church is a member of Lutheran Church Canada. This video is a midweek devotion for the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, June 23rd in the year of our Lord, 2021. We begin as we sing 743, Jesus, Priceless Treasure, 743 in Lutheran Service Book.
may be made by all in remembrance of the holy baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Order of service is from Lutheran Service Book, Response of Prayer 1. Holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. Our first reading is from Psalm 139 verses 14 through 18, and 23 and 24. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. Your, in your book were written every one of them. The days that were formed for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. Our second reading is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verses 1 through 24. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and sand is weighty, but a fool's prov provocation is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming. But who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy. One who is full loathes honey, but to one who is hungry, everything bitter is sweet. Like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home. Oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from his earnest counsel. Do not forsake your friend and your father's friend, and do not go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor who is near than a brother who is far away. Be wise, my son, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him who approaches me. The prudent sees danger and hides himself. The simple go and suffer for it. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger, and hold it up in pledge when he puts up security for an adulteress. Whoever blesses his neighbor with a loud voice rises early in the morning. 
will be counted. Sorry about that. Yeah. Whoever blesses his neighbor with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, will be counted as cursing. A continual dripping on a rainy day and a quarrelsome wife are alike. To restrain her is to restrain the wind or to grasp oil in one's right hand. Iron sharpens iron. And the other, and one man sharpens another. Whoever tends a fig tree will eat its fruit, and he who guards his master will be honored. As in water, face reflects face. So the heart of man reflects the man. Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, and never satisfied are the eyes of man. The crucible, crucible is for silver, and the furnace is for gold. And a man is tested by his praise. Crush a fool in a mortar with a pestle, along with crushed grain. Yet his folly will not depart from him. Know well the condition of your flocks, and give attention to your herds. For riches do not last forever. And does a crown endure to all generations? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Gospel reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early. While it was still dark, and saw the stone had been taken away from the tomb, so she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they're going, they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping down to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there and the face cloth which had been on Jesus' head not lying with the linen cloths, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their own homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stopped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, Jesus said to him, She said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, 
do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, that he had said these things to her. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. For meditation today, we read from Scripture as well as our confessions. The first and chief article is this. Jesus, our God and our Lord, died for our sins and was raised again for our justification. Romans 4, chapter, sorry, Romans chapter 4, verses 24 and 25. He alone is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, as we read in John chapter 1, verse 29. And God has laid upon him the iniquities of us all, as we read in Isaiah 53, verse 6. All have sinned and are justified freely, without their own works or merits, by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, in his blood. Romans 3, verses 23 through 25. This is necessary to believe. This cannot be otherwise acquired or grasped by any law, work, or merit. Therefore, it is clear and certain that this faith alone justifies, as St. Paul says. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law. As we read in Romans 3, verse 28 that he might be just, and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. As we read in Romans 3, verse 26. Nothing of this article can be yielded or surrendered, even though heaven and earth and everything else falls. We read in Mark 13, verse 31. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Acts 4, verse 12. And finally, and with his stripes we are healed, as we read in Isaiah 53, verse 5. Upon this article, everything that we teach and practice depends. In opposition to the Pope, the devil, and the whole world. Therefore, we must be certain and not doubt this doctrine. Otherwise, all is lost, and the Pope, the devil, and all adversaries win the victory and the right over us. This is from our small, card, small called articles in our confessions. Let us continue as we pray the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence, 
he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue on page 436 in Lutheran Service Book. The hymn is called Go to, Garth, Go to Dark Gethsemane, 436. to you, O Lord, in the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you, and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pits and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. We pray the collect for today. Almighty God, in your mercy, guide the course of this world so that your church may joyfully serve you in godly peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, 
that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our final hymn is 718, Jesus Lead Thou On. 718. questions or comments regarding what you have seen and heard on this video, feel free to contact me at 431-335-6219. Go in peace. You have been served by the Lord. Amen.